Hey guys, welcome to the final video of Football Manager 2012 Season 1. This is going to be the season recap and, uh, well, I've just started this right after the previous game, which is the Wolves game. Nice 4-1 victory and the Carroll hat-trick. Go watch it if you haven't. And, um, yeah, so, as you can see here, the curtain comes down on the Premier League final day. Uh, some good results there. 3-1 victory for Fulham over Arsenal. Stop them finishing inside the top seven. And, uh, as you can see, Andy Carroll scoring with uh, the 4-1. So there we go. Suarez also 26 seconds goal is the fastest goal scored in a match. They call 50 second goal. 50 se oh really? No, that, no surely that, that can't be the actual record. <laughs> no we haven't broke that. That's obviously um, in the game not in real life of course. Anyway let's get on to the, uh, the old end of season awards. This is just going to be dominated by Manchester United I can tell you now. Um, Rooney footballer of the year. Sergio Aguero in second. Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs in third. Nani won Players Player of the Year, Andre Ayew, who I have to admit does look good, took, came in second, Darren Fletcher in third. Rooney, top goal scorer, Hernandez and Aguero. Rooney, 33 goals, absolutely unbelievable. Uh, well, Theo Walcott winning Players Young Player of the Year, Andy Carroll coming second, Gareth Bale in third. Goal of the season, well then, let's go, let's, I'm going to show you them then. First one, look who's second. Oh yes, <laughs> Scott Sinclair then the first one. An incredible goal from the left wing as he picks up the ball in zone half, runs past two QPR players and hits a close range effort. Swansea has QPR on February the 11th. So that's all this then. Scott Sinclair, I tell you, one of the brightest talents in English football in my opinion. I think he's a very, very good looking player and uh, I'm excited to see how he does now. I'm going to pick the match speed up over here because I can. Look at look how far he's ran. Oh, look at that. Oh, finish. Quality. Very good finish. Um, and of course, who remembers this? This Stephen Gerrard goal against Chelsea on Boxing Day. <laughs> he didn't play that much this season, Stephen Gerrard, but he certainly uh, he certainly has his impact when he wanted to. Here he is again, third minute, I think it was. Uh, as you can see, the, the game does not want to play quickly, so I've got match speed up full, and it still doesn't. Yeah, never mind. I eh? anyway, remember this bomb. It just then nestled off the bar. And that really won us that game. Got us the double over Chelsea for the season. 2-1. And then finally we have Jack Wilshere. Uh, Arsenal versus Stoke March 31st. A curling effort from some way out. A top quality strike. Let's have a look at this then. Uh, it was the first it looked like. I think I said it was the first. Against Stoke who were of course relegated. Here he goes. There he is. They're highlighted in yellow as you can see. Just waiting for it. He's going to hit this. Oh what a goal. Very good goal. Uh, I mean, in previous years, I have had a go saying um, so I had a go at the goal, uh, the season setting. It weren't that good, but that one certainly was. I think that one in Gerrard was certainly both very good and Sinclair as well. It was very good. So, fair to it on that one. Rayner winning Golden Glove. Uh, kept the most clean sheet with 26. Barely, con he only conceded 20 goals all season. Now that's like Ray Clements quality right there. Rayner, thank you. Rayner, acknowledge me. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's kind of disappointing. Alex Ferguson managed the year. David, David Moyes? What? And Martin Yall. Yeah, fair enough, Martin Yall. But David Moyes? Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But Okay, players team of the year. Rayner was the only player selected. The only Liverpool player. We finished second. Oh, come on. We finished second and nothing. Really? Half of the bloody team was Man United. It's mostly just Man United. Jeez. Anyway, I'll... Stephen Gerrard, Bellamy and Donovan, well, we all knew that. And that's the end of the season break. So um, we'll look at the final league table as we saw. We got Man United. No, I don't, I'm not too sure. I know obviously I'm doing this back to back, so I haven't been able to see your feedback for the uh, previous video. But um, Tottenham in the Europa League now, is that a rule that fourth place doesn't get a Champions League spot anymore? I don't know. It's a bit weird. Or oh, is it something to do? I'm just, let me just make sure who won the Carlin Cup uh, because. Um, I don't know if really. Uh, damn, I've gone on the wrong one. Fixture, sorry, that's the wrong fixture list. <laughs> League Cup. Um, Holders Man United. Yeah. They be, oh, that's right. They'd be Fulham. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be Fulham. Um, so Man United could very well do the treble, in fact. Um, so I'm not too sure why, but um, fourth place gets a Europa League spot, but whatever. Um, so we've got Fulham and Tottenham and Barnsley going into the Europa League. Um, Arsenal finishing off that top eight. Decent season for Bolton, Wolves, Blackburn up there. Wigan, a pretty good return for them, considering how badly they're doing in real life. I hope they go down, because I hate Wigan. Uh, <laughs> they're just a, 
Oh, sorry, I, sorry, Wigan fans, if you are watching, but I don't think you're a particularly good club. Um, Swansea, Villa, Newcastle, disappointing all for them. Swansea, good for them. They can establish themselves maybe as Premier League team. West Brom surviving. Roy Hodgson keeping them up. Um, but overall, decent team. Uh, decent team, but like they may go down next season. But overall, decent season for us, I would say. So let's look at the stats then. Uh, four wins of the best on the best form. Second in goals, first in conceded. Um, I think that's about right, that average attendance. Uh, but let's have a look at the player stats then. So we had a look at the goals. Let's have a look. Um, so we got Rooney, Aguero, uh, and Hernandez making up that top three. In the wrong order, sorry. But <laughs> Adebayo with 20, Van Persie with 20, Carroll with 19. That's a decent result. And Luis Suarez with 17. And uh, to be honest, I don't even think Suarez hit top top gear, to be honest. Um, Edison Cavani in 12th there, um, considering he joined in January. I think that's very impressive. Dirk Carlton 16th with a good return, 11. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with uh, Carroll in 6th and Suarez in 8th. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a bit of a gap. <laughs> Gerrard with 8th. Oh, sorry, with 8th. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, but, of course, he uh, did miss quite a big chunk of the season at the start and at the end. And there's a big gap between that. Daniel Iger getting 5. Di Maria with 4. 4 pretty big goals. And uh, Luca Tony there chipping in with 3. And Stuart Downing also chipping in with 3. Uh, Downing I might sell on. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But Tony... Not bad, considering I kind of stopped playing him near the back end of the season. Um, I think that may be it, so we'll just uh, continue. We're also going to find out and see how um, my United and Arsenal do in the All English uh, Champions League final. I think that's coming up soon. Also, see you get uh, promoted as well. You also scored, uh, there you go, Team of the Week, Enrique and Carroll in Team of the Week. Um, and England. England have this strange knack of moving up slowly to number one on this. It's happened on my Southampton save and it's happened on here. It's very strange indeed. I don't know uh, I don't think it'll happen in real life, I think to be honest in real life they're more likely to go down than anything else. Uh, but um we've got of course two things to sort out now and that is um oh Rooney signing a five year deal, even though he just signed a new contract earlier this year, didn't he? I think he did. Um but yeah we've got uh, our Arsenal winning oh that's interesting. They've Came outside the top at cast can like Liverpool, that isn't it? Um, okay, okay, everything's just so wrong about this. We've got Arsenal um, beginning to lose patience with Arsene Wenger. Daily Mirror declaring a bad result against Arsenal in the Champions League final. Could seal his fate. That makes no sense at all. But nevertheless, they actually both, they won. Arsenal won the Champions League. That is extraordinary. And they beat, look at that, they beat Real Madrid, Barcelona and Manchester City. Arguably three, the three best teams in the world. God, with the exception of Man United, obviously. Um, they have great Britain got. I'm not going to be doing this um, because I don't want to, I just want to get, I just want to concentrate on Liverpool. I'm already doing Great Britain on my Southampton save. I might show you how I do on that in the future. Um, but let's see, who have we got anyway? We've got Brazil, oh, Brazil, New Zealand and China. Mm. I'm not going to be doing uh, Great Britain, so um, I'm going to ignore that. We'll just need to find out who that comes up. Uh, that's all. I'm not going to show you the Champions League basketball as we went in it. Was scored against. Oof. <laughs> Look at that. Two goals scored against Man City. Rooney winning the best player. And uh, Dumbia, whoever that is. I've Seydou Dumbia. I have to say, I've not heard of him because he plays for CSK Moscow. I've not heard, seen him play. Actually, no. That is a lie. I have heard of his name. I just haven't seen him play mainly again because he plays for CSK Moscow. Now we've scored 14 goals from indirect free, kick, free kicks. That's pretty good. I'm really happy with that actually. Um, so we're just now waiting to see who uh, is going to be coming up uh, from the championship. Let's just make sure. Did I even activate the championship? I can't even remember. That's not... Hang on. Uh, Reading. It's going to be Birmingham, Burnley, and Reading, so I'm sure Chris will be happy with that. Uh, look at that, Barnsley. <laughs> 16, 18th even. 18th. Oh, Southampton, that's not good. I got them promoted, come on. <laughs> um, Barnsley, um, promoted. No, so not promoted, in the Europa League. And Birmingham, Burnley. Burnley, again! Why is it always Burnley, man? They're not even that good. And Reading. <laughs> Reading go through, so I thought I thought that I don't know if it already happened or not. The damn thing didn't tell me. Anyway, so that is that then. Um, I'm gonna go. Let's see if any 
players are transfer listed. Who's transfer listed? Oh, Milmar's up there again. Dem the bar. Oh, uh, Gildinho, Sen, the moral, or the morale. Uh, Kevin Jones, Lee Catamol, Evans Blake, uh, Rizisky. Uh Some decent plays there. Thomas Chuk, uh, Scalacci. I don't really actually rate him. Actually, no people don't rate him anymore. Transfer budget of a million. I will be getting a new transfer budget by the time summer rolls around. So that's that then. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this, lads. This has been the first season of FM12 2012. Uh, sorry, FM12. Sorry, I'll start that again. This has been the first season of Football Manager 2012 Let's Play. Uh, I will be coming back for a second season and uh, I will be making some additions to this team. Um, I will be restarting. Um, probably uh, obviously we're not going to be in any community shield or anything but i will be restarting once i have my transfer budget and all that and that will be like a sort of introductory part and i'll obviously talk about what my budget is players and go might be going in for players i'm interested in and then part two will be the first game of the new season and i'll show you my new squad and all that because i will be adding players and i will be dumping players so uh but apart from that lads um that's everything covered i think and I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give the video a like. And uh, apart from that, I will see you for Season 2. Hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye for now.